It's like day two of fall break and I want to slit my throat. It's torture. I can't handle it. Then I'm listening. I can't handle it. I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> As I'm being hit. Welcome to my world. Okay, so it's raining today and a gang of us came to a place called Zooopolis or something like that. It looks like it's someone's house maybe or maybe they used to live here and now it's like full of different animals. I couldn't go in actually because I'm way too allergic for that. Um, but we're getting ready. We got our food and we're going to go feed some donkeys and some pigs and they have a zebra um, I don't know what all they have here but it's kind of a cool place it is in Bartholomew County Indiana oh my gosh I just saw a freaking kangaroo you've got to be kidding me so they have a kangaroo um, yeah and these animals eat a they get fed a lot of food um, good food fresh food and um, so let's go explore see what we can get into and hopefully try and stay dry. And I totally just saw like a camel or something. Uh, alpaca, oh gosh, here comes the donkeys. <laughs> I didn't go into the house where the lemurs were and all these animals they speak of um, because I could not freaking breathe. I walked in and I was like, Ugh. I need my EpiPen. I don't even have an EpiPen, but uh, so mama didn't go inside, but I'm sure it was amazing. I carried a leaser. I didn't get to pet the wolf, but I carried a leaser. The donkey and the, and the lemurs trying to take Keller's song. That was your favorite? The cat and my dog were their favorites. The alpaca tried to kick me, but I didn't start following me. So when I tried to pet it, it tried to kick me again. So I was really confused at that point. Also, the lemur tried to take my phone, as Brody said. It's like a raccoon monkey. 
It's like a mix between them, kind of. They were funny. They were weird. They like they like took their little noses and like shoved them in your pants. I don't know why, but they were really interested in these pockets. Like I think one actually went through my pocket. And I was like, oh. I hung out with the donkeys and and the zebra and the turkeys were crazy. Those turkeys and even the ducks were kind of aggressive. Oh, the goat got out. <laughs> the alpaca was a funny little thing. I had a bowl of food and it would like it nudge the grapes out of the way just so it could eat the carrots. Like it knew what it wanted and didn't want. It's picky, like the, unlike the pig. Oh, there was a pig too. Yeah, the pig was cute. The pig got down my pants. I pet a raccoon. Oh, there's also a red and silver fox. I didn't see it. I saw his cage. But I didn't see it. Yeah, there was. They were fighting. They're like, ah. Okay. What sound is so, that? So, will I ever come back? Yes. Will I let my kids come back? Yes. Will I come back? Yes. No. We were just, we were got back from the zoo office, and um, my favorite part was the dog and the cat because um, they chased me around and they jumped on me. It was really funny, and. One of those little raccoons got down my pants and my shirt and on my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just kicked up my feet and sat down on the couch to relax from a wild freaking day with two of my nephews and Ruby K and I am freaking exhausted. I'm just exhausted. We played so hard today and I'm ready for fall break to be over with. Like it's torture. These kids need to be in school for real learning. Not with me. <laughs> no, I'm only kind of kidding. Like kind of kidding. I had fun with them. It it was good. It was a rainy day. Um, but we had fun checking out all the animals and just laughing and playing. They got along really well today. And so I am just kicking back on the couch. <sighs> and I'm, I'm going to bed early tonight. It's going to be an early, early night. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.